Look, everybody in the universe, every human being is wired to need esteem, to need recognition, to need to feel unique. How do you feel unique in a world full of three billion people? You come up with some reason why you're unique. Well, genetically, your DNA makes you unique, and if that's not enough for you, I guess you got to have different style, different hair, different body art, uh, whatever it is, whatever uh, <laughs> pulls your pickle. But as far as gear and stuff like that, mine's cooler because I have uh, a rap that's my favorite band, and that band's cool. Hey, listen. The point being, who's working harder right now? This mech mod with this battery? To produce that cloud? Or this box mod with this battery set, and it's locked, to produce this cloud. Give or take, that's about the same cloud. I will assure you, this draw was shorter, these batteries worked way less hard because there's three of them and um and that's that this guy had to work three times harder to produce the same result as this guy because this guy has three batteries in them plain and simple it's logic but that's the reason why anybody goes from this to this doesn't mean that i this is the mod killer no i love my mech mod and i will always use it i love my 26650 mech mod, and I will always use that. And enjoy it. I love my box, and I will always use that. I love this unregulated series. It's, it's, it's out of this world. I love it. I love them all. It's like having a closet full of shoes. A closet full of suits. Yeah, that's a good example. How many pairs of jeans do you own? How many pairs of shoes do you own? How many... Uh, you don't wear the same clothes every day, do you? Even if you had the patience to wash your clothing every night and wear fresh clothing in the morning, if you did that because you like the same outfit, um, your clothing would wear out faster. It's like anything. But we have a lot of different clothing and we like each outfit for its, its own uh, sake. We have a lot of different mods and different Addies and different RDAs and I have dozens of RDAs and I build them all and I rip them out and I rebuild them again and again and again because it's what I do, it's what I love, I enjoy it. Um, you know, the Derringer has a different quality uh, and, and different attributes than the Onslaught. Uh, the Dark Horse vapes differently from the Doge. And anything else new that comes out, and here's the freak show, and if I build it different, and if I want a new experience, I can get creative, do a different build, get a new RDA. I, I enjoy falling in love with each of my little pieces of equipment, building them differently, and seeing how they perform. And there's Little Boy. And I mean, I have uh, anything that comes out, I'm getting. Here's a Kanger sub tank, and I love that. Here's the sub tank mini, and I love that. I've got the equivalent of a closet full of clothing in my vaping stuff. Four minutes, I can keep talking. Now, here's something interesting you might not have known. Different juices taste different at diff on different builds, on, at different wattage, with different airflow. Um, you, take, you take Serial Killer on this Doge and open up the air holes wide, and it tastes very lemony. Close those air holes down, and it tastes more cereal flavor, less lemony. So... Uh, 
Lemon's neither good nor bad. It's personal preference. Some days I like more lemon. Some days I don't want the lemon, but I want the cereal. So I'll close down the airflow and I'll vape it that way. Um, throughout the course of the day, your vision changes as your eyes get tired. Throughout the course of the day, your taste buds get fatigued. And so you might want to change up your juice flavors because the same juice isn't going to taste the same. Each cigarette, that first cigarette of the day tasted the best. That last cigarette of the day, you couldn't even taste it. You were just smoking to get the nicotine and the, and the 7,000 stuff. Um, you, you, after a while, the senses get deadened. Whoa. Whoa. Wrong build. Wrong, that's twisted wire. Wrong, wrong build for that. Oops. I just got a nasty burnt hit. Why? Because I put a fiery ass build on a fiery ass device, and um, that's a bad combination because I'm talking and vaping. Um, there's flavor builds, there's cloud builds, there's both. I'll show you a combination of both. This is this is freak show. We'll do this to make it easy. Freak show is a flavor addy. Addy is RDA, re rebuildable dripping atomizer, otherwise nicknamed Addy. Freak Show is unique because of its air channels. It's got these big wide air channels right at the base and the air shoots right up under the coils. Now I built this in quad coil verticals so I have dual vertical coils over each air slot for a total of four. Now the resistance on this is probably 0 0.1 it says 0 0.1 on here but I think it's a 0.16 if I remember correctly. Hey, guess what? At 43 watts, this is only putting 2.4 volts into that because the resistance of the build requires higher wattage to get higher volts, to get more power, to get more vapor. Whoa. Anyway, by doing quad coils, I now turn a flavor addy into a cloud chaser. This is raw power unregulated, so you better be sure what you're putting on this box can handle it because it's just going to dump power out and whatever's on the other end of it better be able to receive it. That would be like me trying to go and take uh, a direct pass from an NFL quarterback. I better be able to catch it and handle the power that he's putting into that. So this is an example of a build that takes a lot of power. Now I couldn't put this build on this unregulated device because it, it can't handle it but it's perfectly fine for about 75 watts. Any higher than that and I start really shredding up juice. That's it. I'm babbling. I'm ranting. Thanks for listening.